Hello viewers, this is Dr. Fast here. In today's video, I will be reviewing this Xtool IP819 OBD scan tool. Now this is a very powerful scan tool you can use to help diagnose problems in your vehicle. It's able to check for fault codes, reset fault codes. You can use it to look at live data with your engine, transmission, and many other systems in your vehicle. On top of that, this tool also has bi-directional function. What that means is this tool is able to send command out to the computer in your vehicle and have it activate certain components or test a function in your vehicle. Later in the video, I will demonstrate using this tool to enable the electronic parking brake maintenance mode on a Honda Odyssey. Now just keep in mind, depending on the vehicle you have, it might not support all the features that's built into this tool. There are lots to cover in this video, so let's get started. Right here is a box for this X-Tool IP819 OBD scan tool. Let me unbox this and I'll show you what it looks like. Right here is a user manual. There's X tool OBD scan tool. There's a USB charge cable. Right here is the OBD diagnostic cable. There's a charger. And it comes with different adapters depending on which country you live in. So for North America, I'll be using this one right here. Looking at this X tool IP819 scan tool, it has a 7 inch color LCD touchscreen. The resolution on it is 1024 by 600. This device runs Android 5.1.1 with 2GB of RAM and 32GB of ROM. There is an internal 5000 milliamp hour battery and also has built in 2.4GHz and 5GHz Wi Fi. Looking at the top here, this USB port is where you plug in the charging cable. In the middle is a connector for connecting your data cable to connect to your OBD port in your vehicle. Next to it is another charge port, but with the included USB charge cable, you will not be using this port. And on the far right, this is the on-off button. Here's a look at the back. Right here is a speaker. To charge a unit, connect the USB cable to the charger. Plug the other end of the cable to the USB port. Once you plug the power adapter into the outlet, it will begin charging this unit. To turn on, press and hold the power button for a second. While this is booting up, I'll go over some of the features on this scan tool. Now this tool is packed with a lot of features, but do keep in mind many of the features do not apply to all the vehicles. This scan tool has features like key programming, ECU coding, bi-directional controls or what they call active tests, record live data, and look at freeze frame data. This tool also comes with a free 3 year software update. After that you can purchase software updates from Xtool. And also has a 2 year warranty. Now this is the first time I'm powering this on. So I'll ask you for language, English. And start and activate. Next I'll ask you to connect to your Wi-Fi. Enter your email to create an account. Now to open up the scan tool app, press the car icon at the bottom here. Now it brings up the Xtool app. Now with this tool connected to my Wi-Fi, it immediately tells you there is an update available. And right now there are 173 updates. So I'll go ahead and do an update all. Give it a few minutes for this update to complete. Now one thing I notice about the download is if the tablet goes to sleep, the download stops. So make sure you have the screen on so you can finish all the downloads. Once the update is all completed, it will tell you all software are up to date. Let's go back. Looking at this X2 home screen, the layout is very easy to use. For most diagnostic, like reading trouble codes and resetting trouble codes, you'll be doing the auto scan or the diagnosis. With the auto scan, it will scan the VIN number automatically and find the vehicle. If you want to manually enter the vehicle, you can select Diagnosis. Here you can choose the manufacturer of the vehicle. Right now it's showing European cars. 
if you select America, these are all the American made cars. You also have Asia. Now to the left you have special function. With this scan tool there are a lot of additional features built into it. So as you can see you can do key programming, oil reset, electronic parking brake, headlight, battery reset, throttle position reset, and they even have airbag reset. Now if you select report, this will allow you to see diagnosis report and data playback. On the right side, we've already done the updates. Let's go into settings. Under settings, you can change the language, change the unit of measure. You can also enter workshop information and the firmware information is shown here. If you select more, there's also Xtool. That'll take you to the Xtool website. So now I'll take this to the vehicle and I'll show you some of the features available on this tool. To demonstrate some of the features on the scan tool, I'll be connecting it to my 2019 Honda Odyssey that you see right here. Now I've connected the data link cable to the scan tool right here, and the length of this cable is four and a half feet long. On the driver's side, underneath the dash, that white connector there is the OBD port. I'll connect the cable to this port. With the scan tool connected, I'll start the car. Looking at the X-Tool homepage, I'll first do the auto scan. The auto scan will find the VIN number of the vehicle, the model, and the year. Select OK. The scan tool has a 16 pin connector. Select the 16 pin connector. Now, this vehicle is from the US, so I'll select USA. Now, if you do the automatic scan, it will scan all the components in your vehicle and report to you of any faults that might have. Now, the automatic scan will take several minutes. Now, if you don't want to scan through all the components, you can do a system selection. And here you can select the individual components you want to scan. But let's go back and let me show you the automatic scan, all system scan. To look at the summary of the failures, select DTC report. So here's a report of all the failures. Adaptive cruise control has a malfunction of vehicle stabilization assist. Tire pressure monitor system has a signal transmission error on the right front tire pressure sensor. And the IDAS or integrated driver assistance system has a VSA module control unit malfunction. Now before connecting this scan tool, I wasn't aware of these failures. The dash didn't have any trouble lights. So I'm gonna have to look into this a little further. Now back on the screen, if you want, you can clear all the DTCs or the trouble codes and then see if the trouble codes come back. Let's exit this. Next, let me show you system selection. Here are all the different modules you can select. Check if there are any trouble codes. Do your troubleshooting. If you want to clear it, you can do that. So let's go into automatic transmission. Now with each of these components, you can look at live data. So let's look at live data. So for example, right here is ATF temperature. This will show you the temperature of your transmission fluid. Right now it's 161 degrees Fahrenheit. Now if you select this down arrow button right here, I'll actually show you a graph of the temperature reading. You can pause this reading if you want. You can also select multiple of these PIDs. For example, I select the ATF temperature and also the battery voltage. So with these two PIDs selected, if I hit continue and then select custom, now I select graph. This will show you the graph of both of the PIDs. You can also choose to record this live data and export this data. Let's go back. Let's go into engine. Live data. So right here is the engine speed or RPM of the vehicle. If I step on the gas, you'll see the RPM change. I can also look at the graph. I can pause it. Now with this Honda Odyssey, the rear brake has electronic parking brake. And if you have to change a brake pad on this vehicle, you do need to find a way to retract that brake caliper piston. You can't just use a clamp to clamp it in. You either remove the electric motor that's on the caliper and manually screw it back in, 
or with this tool you can actually set it to maintenance mode let me show you that right now to do that go into anti-lock brake system right here now select special functions maintenance mode of brake pad here it tells you you can use this function to maintain the brake pad okay so here are two choices you can enter brake pad maintenance mode or put it back to normal mode now once i enter the maintenance mode you should be able to hear the motor retracting on the rear brake now before pressing yes make sure the parking brakes released stop the vehicle the battery voltage needs to be over 10 volt once those are confirmed then select yes Now the piston on the brake caliper is retracted. Okay, now put it back to normal mode. After you put it back to normal mode, the brake system light on the dash will turn off. Okay, so this feature I just showed you is an example of the bi-directional function this scan tool can perform. The tool was able to send a command to the electronic parking brake system to get it to retract the brake caliper. So there's a two-way communication between a tool and the vehicle, hence the name bidirectional. Now the bidirectional function can be very useful when it comes to troubleshooting because you can have the tool send out commands to test whether a component in the vehicle is working properly. Just keep in mind your vehicle also need to support this bidirectional communication for some of these features to work. Let's go back. Now let's go into the special function. Here's a list of all the special function available on this tool. Depending on the vehicle you have, it might not support any of these functions. You have other functions like heat programming, SAS or steering angle sensor. So for example, some Toyotas, after you replace the steering rack, you have to reset the sensor on that steering rack. BMS is battery management system. On some vehicles, if you change a car battery, you actually have to reset the low battery voltage fault. If you don't, you'll get a light on the dash telling you that you still have a fault. The throttle is to reset the throttle position sensor. So if you do maintenance or clean the throttle body, you might need to reset the idle speed. So it does have many special functions. And again, it depends on the vehicle you have. Some of these functions will work on your vehicle and some of them don't. As you can see, this X-Tool IP819 scan tool has a lot of great features. It's able to scan all the modules in your vehicle and show you any fault codes it has to help you with your troubleshooting. It's also able to show you live data so you can do some real-time troubleshooting. It also has the ability to do bi-directional communication with your vehicle and test to see if certain components are working. Now at the time of this review, this tool retails for $599. There is a $100 off coupon you can check below the price. I also have an additional 8% off coupon code you can apply. If you're interested, check out the link in the video description. I hope you enjoy watching this video and remember to like the video and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. To support this channel, remember to click on thumbs up subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you get notified of new videos.